election and nobody should be playing politics with pensions. It's the sentiment shared by many MPs in Ottawa. It's a rock. It's some stability. People are reaching out and holding on to whatever rock they can these days. And it's the message echoed by the Prime Minister in a letter penned to Alberta's Premier. Trudeau says he's deeply concerned, adding the world is changing fast and the cost of living is putting a lot of pressure on hardworking people. Canadians need our support and they need to have continued faith that their financial future is secure. Political watcher Dwayne Bratt says Trudeau had to respond, but regardless of what he said, he'd be falling into a trap. If it was just about pensions, uh, that is likely a, a losing fight for Danielle Smith. But if she can turn it around and make it about Trudeau, um, I think she's got a, a shot at, at winning a referendum. I think he's he's trying to, to overstate it to make some kind of political point. And quite frankly, I just don't think that that's helpful. I think we should allow for the process to play out, let Albertans decide, because we do have a constitutional right to, to um, manage our, our pensions. Though her goal may be clear, many are confused on her timeline. The overwhelming majority of emails and phone calls that I'm getting are that Albertans want to stay in the CPP. And I guess the question is, why this distraction? Why now? Now that she's got a clean mandate, she's got a large runway, she's bringing out now because she believes that it makes economic sense for Albertans. And she's in the middle of a fight with Trudeau on a whole host of files. So for both political and economic reasons, now seems to be the best time for Smith to pursue this. Danielle Smith responded to Trudeau in a letter saying she takes issue with the tone of Trudeau's letter, calling it disingenuous and saying it was inappropriate for him to spark fear. She's also invited him to Alberta to sit down and discuss the matter. Sarah Reed, Global News.